There are two types of dry chemical extinguishers. In the first, the agent is stored under pressure. In the second, a replaceable cartridge contains the propellant. To operate the stored pressure design, pull the ring pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the lever, and sweep. Begin at the leading edge of the fire and continue to sweep until the agent completely covers the surface of the burning material. With a cartridge operated extinguisher, you must push down on the cartridge puncturing lever to pressurize the extinguisher, then aim, squeeze, and sweep. Start discharging a dry chemical extinguisher from a safe distance. As the fire diminishes, move closer. Because dry chemical agents are discharged as a fine powder, they can be diverted by wind. Keep the wind at your back so your breathing and visibility are not affected. Foam works on both Class A and B fires. Foam extinguishers are designed for use on flammable liquid fires or spills. The foam should be applied in a way that blankets the surface to prevent oxygen from combining with the fuel. To operate foam extinguishers, pull the ring pin, aim the nozzle, squeeze the operating lever, and sweep. Foam extinguishers empty in about one minute. They are most effective at a range of 10 to 15 feet. Start at the recommended safe distance and move closer as the fire is brought under control. To extinguish a flammable liquid fire with foam, apply the agent across the top of the fuel, not directly down into it, which could disperse the fuel and make the fire worse. The object is to avoid disturbing the surface of the fuel as much as possible, which would cause more vapors to be released and intensify the fire. As the fire diminishes, stop the stream of foam periodically so the agent can form a solid blanket, completely sealing the fuel and preventing reignition. Pull the ring pin. Aim at the base of the fire. Squeeze the operating lever and sweep the nozzle from side to side so the burning material is completely covered. Remember pass. Pull, aim, squeeze and sweep. 